Welcome to the Royal Flush Podcast. My name is John Overy, the VP of Sales here at Royal Flush. In this episode, we're going to harp on something that we've talked about many times, and that is the process that we go through and that we do on our projects, from a camera inspection all the way down to shooting our liner. These are the standard processes we do on every single project, but they're really, really important for people to understand and convey. I think there's a lot of value for our listeners to understand our process. So have a listen. Any questions, as always, you can DM us, email us here at Royal Flush. Enjoy the episode. What the hell is pipeline? 99% of people don't know what we do. Pipelining is a way of making a repair to a sewer line or a drain pipe without having to dig it. We're gonna basically put a new pipe inside your old pipe, and what we do is really, really cool. Ultraviolet light. Without a doubt, is the coolest technology that we have. Mark is the most knowledgeable pipeliner, certainly in New England, that I know. So I always say, listen, I got the best team in the game, and it, it shows itself in situations like that. You got trailers loaded with every inch of equipment these guys could possibly need. Then you have that whole lining rig that's got everything. And you've got four to five guys that are going to show up there that are these technically trained guys mm -hmm. that all are professionals at their job. Very simple. We're going to be the biggest pipelining company in New England. John, in this week's episode of the Royal Flush Podcast, we are going to be talking about our process. We've done a lot of uh, videos and episodes talking about our process, but mm -hmm. I think the purpose of this is to kind of go a little more in depth and give some more context on the steps of our process, why we do them, how we do them, <clears throat> and all that. So what is the first step of any lining project? Okay. All right, Kyle. Good, good tee up. Let's talk about... The steps uh, of almost every single project that we're ever going to do at Royal Flush, everything start, starts at step number one, and that is the camera inspection. This is the end-all, be-all, the most important step of everything that we do. This allows us to gather all the information for the project. So let me start from uh, the ground up. You know, when we're talking to somebody, we're qualifying them, seeing if we're a right fit for them and their business or their problem, or we think we have the right fix. Uh, a lot of conversations are happening quickly, early. Uh, time frame, pricing is always something of topic. You know, hey, can you fix the pipe if it's broken or collapsed or damaged? And right, so a lot of terms being thrown around, a lot of questions. People are, um, we'll use the word hysteria a little bit, happens a lot of times. You know, people are upset, confused. They have a problem. And either through all the great things that we do, our social media presence, um, maybe our brand recognition, our guys in the field, we're getting a call or an email and they're looking towards us to hopefully help solve that problem, right? So there's a lot of things going through their head. And we can do our best to answer all those questions. I can almost answer any question anybody has. But the only way to answer those questions truthfully, truly, and to 100% is to camera inspect the pipe. Because really, we're just talking about speculation, Right? So somebody asks, well, hey, can you do A, B, and C? Well, I, I can, and I could, and we do, but I don't know if that's applicable to your pipe. You know, hey, can you navigate around this turn? Well, yes, I can, and I could, and we do, but your turn might be different from other turns. And, you know, the a big thing we get is like, oh, you know, a section of my pipe has collapsed. Well, a collapse to you, and a collapse to me, and a collapse to a drain cleaner, and a collapse to a plumber are four different things. My definition of collapsed might be different from yours or your plumber. So, so the real is, is we don't know. You know, again, we talk about price a lot. You know, how much is it per foot? Or when you can come out here, what's the time frame? Well, I, I don't know because I haven't looked at the pipe. You know, every single job is different. We can have two jobs that are, you know, 10 feet and one job can be 2,000, one job could be $100,000. I just, I have no idea until we look at the pipe. Um, another big thing is time. People talk about, you know, hey, I, I, can you guys get out here right away? We want to do the job. And so we go out and look at it, and, you know, the my interpretation of time or urgency is very, very different than yours. You know, that could be today, tomorrow. Um, if you're a director for a multi-billion dollar company, that could be a six-week approval process. I don't know. So all those things, I say all those to say this, everything starts with the camera inspection. The camera inspection allows us to do basically three to four things. Assess the logistics of the project. And that's from as simple as, hey, when we arrive on site, where are we going to park our trucks? Where would we possibly put our equipment? Where would our guys work, right? Are we going to work in a little baby two-by-two -two closet? Because guess what? That's going to change the price. It's going to be tougher to work in. Or do we have an open field, 
and there's nothing for us to worry about, we can sprawl out our equipment, everything's fine. Those are things that are going to affect the pricing of the job. More importantly, we have to see inside the pipe. The analogy we always use is a doctor making a recommendation or using an arthroscopic scope. Say you're having heart palpitations, you're not feeling well, you know, and the doctor's like, well, you know, I think we can, we're going to give you this. Well, do they really know unless they start taking a look or they analyze it or maybe an x-ray or an MRI? Those are going to give the doctor the evidence or the proof to maybe line up with what their assumptions are. Hey, you know, given your symptoms, the symptoms of the back up, the clog, or the slow drain, you know, the doctor's like, I think you might need penicillin or maybe you have an infection or maybe you have a virus. But in order for me to know for sure, I need to do an x-ray or an MRI or maybe an arthroscopic scope. So when we talk to a customer, they're saying, I'm having a backup. I know it's from my house out to the street. It's about 50 feet. Well, yeah, hey, I think, you know, these three things, I think we're going to give you maybe some Tylenol. We're going to give you uh, some Motrin. We're going to tell you to rest and sleep. And I'm going to get you an antibiotic. But we're not going to know for sure until I get you an MRI or an X-ray. For us at Royal Flush, the camera inspection is the X-ray or the MRI. That allows us to see inside the pipe, gather a couple specific, basic piece of information. What type of pipe are we dealing with? Are we dealing with cast iron, clay, asbestos, ductile iron, concrete, many different forms of pipe. Visually seeing the pipe is going to let us know what type of pipe it is. That's going to let us know how our prep is going to be. Are we going to do more descaling, which is really popular in cast iron? Are there roots in the clay? Or are we just going to hydrojet the pipe? Again, these are all factors that we're going to take into effect of how we're going to price the project. Um, from there, what is the overall length and dimension of the pipe? Do we have 4-inch pipe, 3-inch, 6-inch, 8-inch, 10-inch? Do we have 5 feet, 10 feet, 100 feet? These are all the factors that we need to gather in order to give you a comprehensive price. So in our industry, anybody who goes out there and can give you a price... They're lying to you. And that's what I say to people. I go, I can't give you the real price because I'd be completely misleading you. I can probably give you a pretty fair range. But without meeting you in person, understanding the logistics of the project, where we're working, how we're working, what needs to be done, and seeing inside the pipe so we can assess it, our version of an MRI or an X-ray, I can't really give you an exact price. Once we do those things, I can give you a comprehensive estimate, custom for you and your problem, with a detailed solution. So the camera inspection is the absolute number one. We can't do anything without looking at the pipe. It's the first step of any project and really the most important step. Now, let's take it to step two. Let's say we've gone all those, over all those things, we've submitted an estimate to you, you've gone ahead and agreed to it, and we're now gonna do the project, okay? So the step two of our traditional process we're going to re-camera the pipe again the day that we arrive, but now we're going to focus on the cleaning process. This is really step two. We're going to camera the pipe. We're going to clean the pipe. The analogy we use for this, like any construction project, you need to prep the surface before you do any work. My, as hopefully my listeners will know, I came from the paint world. If you're going to paint a house, you don't just slap new paint on old paint. You need to clean it, sand it, power wash it, scrape it. You need to get all that old nasty crap off so the new paint sticks right. For lining, most of the time in a cast iron pipe, there's heavy rust and scale and debris and it's all nasty. And Kyle, I'll have you pop up a picture of a nasty scale pipe in there so people can see. In clay pipe, there's going to be roots or lips. we got to get all this nasty crap out of the pipe so our liner can take its shape and do what it wants to do, be a nice, smooth, seamless piece. So the prep process is the second step of what we do in every single project. We're going to descale the pipe. We're going to jet the pipe, we're going to clean the pipe and get all that nasty crap out. Because again, you can't line a pipe, it's got all broken shards of rust in it, it's got roots, that, that just it obviously wouldn't work. So the prepping of that pipe is step number two. After we've camera the pipe and we prep the pipe, step number three is one of the, probably the most exciting process, and there's kind of multiple steps within one, but we're going to work on shooting our liner. We're going to impregnate the liner with our liquid epoxy. So we're going to physically take our epoxy and pour it in our liner. Now we've measured it. We know how long it is. In this case, let's say we have an access pit. We're going to go out 50 feet. So we have a 50 foot liner. We're going to pour the liner in and impregnate our liner. We are then going ahead and load our liner in our drum. This is going to allow us to take it 
and shoot it down the pipe. Shoot it or invert it is the terms that we use in our industry. We're basically going to put that liner in the pipe. Next, we blow the liner up with air. Now, it's a very, very low volume of air. Um, it's a very low pressure, but a high volume of air. So we're only using like 8, 9 PSI. If, I mean, that's a blow dryer is probably 35, you know, that's how much air we're using. It's not a lot of air, but it's enough volume to take the liner and blow it up. What I like to say is kind of squeegee it to the pipe. It makes it go around all those twists and turns. And then, of course, the coolest part of it is curing the liner. Now, depending on the pipe, vertical, horizontal, roof drain, storm drain, depending on the time of the day, maybe the temperature, what the needs of that project are, there's a couple of different ways we can cure it. Most of our projects, we use our ultraviolet-like technology, but we also have ambient cures, or basically think of it just dries over time. Think of like a paint, right? A paint on a wall is an ambient cure. You put it on, and over two, three hours, it dries to the touch. We have liners that do that same exact thing. So depending on what is the right application for the project, that's the type of liner or resin we're going to use on your job. But the curing process is where you really start seeing, you know, that after effect. You start seeing it harden and it's taking shape. And when you're done and you cut it off or pull it out, you can see your new liner inside the pipe. So that is, that is the fourth step. That is, you know, shooting, wetting out, loading in the drum, and curing your liner. The last step to any project, depending on, uh, again, specific to your job, is the reinstating process, which we use our Dan Cutter machine, basically a really fancy robot or Dremel tool. Now, if you have, I've explained this in the past, and hopefully you know, people get it, basically you have a main pipe and you have a lateral connection that goes into it. Let's just say this is a toilet line. When we line our main pipe, we're going to temporarily block or cover over this lateral connection. So the term we use in re is reinstate. We need to reinstate or open up our liner or cut a hole in it so the flow from that toilet can properly go in now into the main and flow out to the street like it's supposed to. And so those are going to be marked um, during the initial camera inspection, visually seen from our text throughout the process, and we're going to go in with our robotic cutter and buzz out a hole in our liner. Now, depending on the project and the application, there could be no reinstatements. There could be one. We just quoted a job the other day for 64 reinstatements. And this was a multifamily uh, apartment complex that kind of had, you know, a left side and a right side with bathrooms back to back. So that's going to be a lot of reinstatements. And so those are kind of the five standard steps to what we do on every single project. We're going to camera the pipe. We're going to clean the pipe. We're going to wet out the liner. We're going to shoot the liner, cure the liner, and we're going to reinstate any lateral connections. Now, as I said many times, every single project is different, but we are basically taking the hundred variations that we have or that we could do and boil them down to those steps on every single job. And so the goal of this video is to just give you a, an additional verbal walkthrough of understanding of what the process is that we go through, a little more detail about each one of those steps, understanding what goes into them, the importance of each of those steps and why they need to be done. And at the end of the day, our goal is to deliver you a beautifully newly lined pipe that's going to last 50 years, if not more, that's going to improve your flow, that's going to be one seamless piece, and more importantly, be a permanent fix. You never have to worry about those underground sewer problems again. So here's my ask. If you have any interest in pipelining, or more importantly, if you have any problem around your property, commercial, industrial, or residential, again, the emphasis of this video to me is really on that camera inspection. If there's any questions, any concerns, uh, any issues with pipes, you're buying a property, you're selling a property, you have something not performing the way you want, maybe you've had a drain cleaner come out there more frequently over the last couple of years, call us up and schedule a camera inspection. Here's the worst slash best thing that's going to happen. We're going to come out and say, guess what? Your pipe's in great shape, right? Your pipe is in great shape. But if it's not, what we look at and how we're trained to look at a pipe is very different from anybody else. Again, if we use some other trades, you know, you're probably not going to hire a roofer to build your deck. Probably not going to hire an asphalt guy to put in some new windows, right? So really, why would you hire a plumber who puts in fixtures or maybe fix your, you know, fixes your leaky sink to give you a true recommendation or an assessment of your underground pipe? We specialize in vertical stacks, roof drains, and underground pipes. That is our bread and butter. We are the expert in that. So if you have any questions, any concerns, anything about your underground pipe or your property, give us a Royal Flush a call, 
schedule an appointment for us to come down, take a look at it, assess what's going on. Hopefully there's nothing wrong. And if there is, we can put together a comprehensive solution for you and maybe fix it for you so you never have to worry about it again.